Based on the Manhattan distance, we can introduce a new type of central tendency measure called the Manhattan median. We actually saw this very briefly when we looked at the influence of outliers on the mean center statistic. Here, the Manhattan median is simply made up of the median of the x-coordinates and the median of the y-coordinates. And the location of the median is where those two uh, median coordinates of x and y intersect. And what we'll find is that each line divides the point distribution into two equal parts. So the x median will divide the point set such that there's uh, half the points to the right and half the points to the left. And the y median divides the data set such that there's half the points above and half the points below. The Manhattan median also has the property that it minimizes the sum of the Manhattan distances from itself to the points. So here we have the Manhattan medians and the Manhattan distances of each x i y i, or each point, to the Manhattan median point. Now, there's a unique solution to this problem when the number of points in the data set is odd, because the that unique solution exists exactly at the locations of the middle points in each case. But when the data set is even, there is no unique solution to minimizing this sum. For example, observe this data set with four locations, and we are trying to find the Manhattan median, at least in the x dimension, the Manhattan uh, the x dimension of the Manhattan median that minimizes the sum of distances, of Manhattan mis distances, to the median line. Now, we know that the Manhattan median has to exist somewhere between these two most inner points. So the Manhattan median can exist anywhere from here to here. But it doesn't matter. No matter where we place the Manhattan median in that range, the sum of distances to that middle line will be equal. So imagine we choose this location, and we measure the distance from each point to that location. And we use these lines to measure that distance. What I've done is copied and pasted these lines, and kept their lengths in place, and arranged them head to tail over here. And I've done the same for this Manhattan median that we select, which is still in that range of, feasib of feasible uh, uh, locations for the median. And I've calculated the lengths of all the distances to that line and rearranged them in here. And we see that the sum of the distances in this case, case 1, is equal to the sum of the distances in case 2. So in fact, any vertical median that divides these points in half can be a Manhattan median. In practice, what we would do in this case is find the point that perfectly divides this range of feasible medians. So we would find the halfway point between these two inner, inner uh, most inner points.